These guys are growing. You're going to have to go outside soon, aren't you? Hey? I've been making a willow fence around my front garden here. I'm going to make this into a nice little cottage garden all along the front. Ooh, with a willow fence. There's some leftover knackered willow that's no good for basketry. I'm running it all along here. I'm going to be planting all of my flowers and herbs and stuff in this front bit. And we've planted more willow down the drive there. This is all going to be market garden. I've got an old cot side that I'm weaving willow through. And there's going to be a lot more woven through and that's going to be the gate to my little cottage garden here. I planted up some more things this morning. Found an old teapot. <laughs> oh, Adam made these steps. This is going to be an archway, a living willow arch. I found this nice old battered teapot. Planted some bulbs into it. Still got this window box in flower that we bought in the autumn. Got some strawberries hiding under there. I'll be going on in later. A few willow cuttings. Planted some garlic bulbs in there, which are coming up already. Alan's getting on with the polytunnel. This is our first small one. This is just going to be for little seeds. He's just making the doors at the moment. It's going to be a fake door with a window at this end. <clears throat> this is going to be a movable goat paddock here and we're going to be moving them on down through all this grass and rushes for them to clear it before we put the cardboard and mulch down for the market garden. Hello Alan. Hello. Looking good? Nice and tight. Quite pleased with it. On the wonk a bit. But I think it's because it's on a hill more than anything. Yeah. But I'm going to be starting my seeds in there, some of them. And then we're having another tunnel here that's going to be a 50 foot one, a big one that's going to be for the salad and tomatoes and then another one next to it that's going to have a hot bench in it and that's all going to be across this part of the garden which is quite shaded or sheltered rather from the wind doesn't take too much of a battering just there <coughs> there's the goats in there Oh yeah, I've got lots of um, sawdust and poo that we've been collecting from someone with horses. Must have about 50 bags by now. So we're going to build a big compost bin here for all of that to go in. And I've got mushroom mulch coming in March. So everything should be ready by then to go, really. Exciting stuff. 
Let's take him up to the barn area. I've got a little shed in there. All these clearing back. There's so much rubbish everywhere. We've still got to get rid of old prams and crap everywhere, really. Piles of scrap metal. There's the old cottage down there. Need to clear back this big pile so that we can get to it. There's loads of alders that have grown. Well, I don't want to cut down really. So I might leave them. This is my favourite bit round here. Not all that crap in there. Don't look at that. There's the field behind. And the forestry. There are some nice big alders here. I think this one must have fallen and they chopped it up. Those have been coppiced and they're starting to grow back. Let's go through here. This big branch on this willow was um, rubbing against the barn, so my son came and chopped it down. <coughs> this is like a little secret garden back here. All the moss on the trees growing. These are ribes, I think. And they're starting to come into bud already. See all those buds? The bees will like that, won't they? Won't be long. So, yeah, I think I'm going to... I was down here looking around and thinking about things and I decided to let this bit sort of leave it alone and let it just turn into woodland. I was poking about here and realised that it's kind of doing that, turning to a woodland on its own. All these brambles have started growing and then tree saplings taking root in the middle. Nature's really clever. We put plastic tree guards around everything to stop little animals nibbling at it. But nature just sends out a load of blackberries and brash that create an area for the trees to grow in. And then of course the trees grow and as they get bigger and shed their leaves and take up more of the light, then that kills off the blackberries beneath it. We don't really need to do anything, it just does it all on its own. There's all these goat willows, they call them crack willow over here because they crack and fall over and they carry on growing. <clears throat> like this one and I was sort of thinking oh we'll clear all of that back and but look it's growing it looks dead but it's not and it's really rather beautiful even though it's sprawled everywhere, it's going to inch its way across the land, isn't it, by doing that and creating habitat for all the birds. And this is a boggy area down here, so there's nothing else we can do with it. We might as well let the willow do its thing and all the frogs and little birds and 
anything else that wants to live here. There's another little willow, look. It's just all doing its thing on its own. We don't need to interfere with it, really. I love it back here. These gnarly old hawthorns. And moss and lichen. Beautiful. Look how green it all is. Everything started growing again. So I think I'm going to make this into a little woodland. Little woodland area. Well, I'm not going to make it into a little woodland area. I'm going to do that on its own, look. some paths in and a bench so I can come sit out here and enjoy it it's a lovely day Willow does when you cut it. Amazing stuff. Got some really big willow trees here. Really tall and gangly. Oh, so nice to be outside. Just love this kind of thing. Lumps of moss on trees. Ow! The hawthorn's trying to eat me. It likes my dreadlocks. Ow! I'm going to be spending a lot of time in this little garden. Well, this little future woodland that's halfway there. That's really private. That's the back of all of our buildings and our barn there. Look at that blue sky today. Beautiful. Managed to get my way in through all this brambles and older into the back of the old cottage. Not been in this bit before. I think this must have been the old fireplace or something. I think the chimney must have gone up there, I think. And someone told us the other day that that barn that we've got the goats in was basically all the stone and everything from where I'm stood now. They took this part of the cottage and built that with it. So this would have all been cottage here. And I'm just finding all these stones. But all these alders have grown in where the cottage would have been. I'm in here, Alan. Hello? I'm in here. Look in. There's it's so much old stone here. Whoa. Big lumps of rock all around that were all part of the old cottage. But now it's all been taken over by nature basically. There's still sort of a shed in there that you can get in and the other end. 
but it would have been a three room beautiful old cottage tempted to rebuild it but I don't know too much effort really oh, I kind of like the way it's been reclaimed by moss and ferns and trees so many other things living in there now we'll see got this massive bramble pile we might clear that back Someone piled up a load of tree on there, I think, and then it's just covered in brambles. It's huge. Like half an acre of brambles. It'll all evolve, I guess. This is the back of that cottage. Someone cut up this beautiful tree before we got here. Which I think is an elder. There might be an ash and a willow in there as well, I think. But look at that. Love moss and gnarly bits of wood and stone. Oh. And old mattresses and shit like that to get rid of. And scrap metal piles of shit and old stoves. <laughs> The old garden, more stone everywhere. There's obviously something which comes through here daily. I think there's a little path. That's the goats in there. And this is the other side of the cottage, the old cottage. A little sheddy bit in here. See what they would have had, this would have been like the animal um, barn. And then there would have been the two rooms that people live in up that way. Yeah, very damp and green. Literally all just green lichen on the wall. Let me see. Quite cool. And this would have been the garden, the back garden for the cottage. That's next door there, that's another abandoned cottage and barn, no one lives there, just empty. More lovely older trees. Pretty lucky to be here, aren't we?